Anyway, so to make a long story short, and I think y'all are really going to like this, um, but God showed me that every time you ever want to get to know his character, if you ever want to get to know who he is, or you just, even if somebody else asks you, you know, who is God, you know, like how do you even get to know God? Obviously his word, obviously y'all know we study the word of God, that's how we come to know who God is. Um, but God gave me this interesting angle on really getting a peek into who he is, his personality, um, his character. And he took me to uh, the book of Galatians where the Bible talks about the fruit of the spirit and how the fruit of the spirit is evidence of God's personal presence within us. That's the fruit that's produced from a relationship with God. We're on the same page. That's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Um, I hope I said all of them, but God showed me that each and every time you talk about one of the fruits of the spirit, like you'll get to see a peek into who he is, like what makes up God, the person of God, the characteristics, the nature of God is the fruit of the spirit. And we're so used to thinking about it as like, okay, am I displaying the fruit of the spirit? But if you ever wonder who he is, you think about the fruit. And so I'm about to walk through each one so we can kind of talk about or, in my opinion, you really do fall in love with God more when you really remember that this is who he is. Like, And every fruit that I say, remember, it's not something that God tries to do. It's not something God has to put on that day. It's who he, act, like who he is. So he can't help but be one of these things. It's powerful. Um, but the first one is love. God is love. Like, God is, God is love. Like, God doesn't choose to be love. God doesn't act loving like he just is that's who he is and i think that's so special to me only because like like you know when you have to question someone love for you when you have to question if you if you know do you love me do you really love me do you really mean what you say when you say you love me like we don't have to do that with god because that's who he is like that that is exactly who he is that's his nature and like when i think about the fact that god is patient like there is no there is no rushing with God, there's no, oh my God, I gotta be here, I gotta do this. Like rushing to me communicates some level of insecurity or some level of not someone not doing their due diligence. So now they gotta rush. They gotta rush themselves and they gotta rush people because they late. But God is patient. That's who he is. Like God is patient. I see now a God who takes his time. I see a God who's very secure. When somebody's patient, it speaks security. It speaks volumes. When I think about the fact that God, see, he's, he's kind. Like, like, I was going to crack a joke. <laughs> but God isn't, he's not mean. Like, he's not, he's not rude. Like, he's not, he not, you don't never have to be like, it's like, like, almost like something he said kind of took you back. Like, it was disrespectful that he said it. Like, but he is a kind person. Like, God is kindness. Like, everything that has to do with kindness that's who God is. Like if you if y'all like kind people, then you'll love God because God is that's that's who he is. He's just kind. He's not mean, he's not petty. He's not like disrespectful and he doesn't put people down. Like he's not trying to belittle nobody. Like he's kind. Like I know some kind people and you look at them sometimes like you just so kind. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's dope. Um but God is also like he's gentle. Like gentleness is a fruit of the spirit. God is not rough. Like, for the people who are, like, physical touch, like, you, your physical touch. Like, he, God is not, you, you never have to, like, correct how God embraces you. Like, like, he just always, he has the right touch. His embrace is always gentle. His words, the way he speaks, God is gentle. God is gentle. This is one of my favorite ones. The Bible says God is faithful. Faithfulness being a fruit of the Spirit is important to me because I don't know about y'all, but I, I like I need to be able to trust what you say. Like I really don't care about all that rah rah. If you tell me that you're gonna do something, if you're gonna tell me you're gonna show up, you're gonna say you you said this. Like God, God being faithful means the world to me because it shows He can be trusted. Like if He told you something, or if He promised you something, you you could bet you could bet your bottom dollar it's gonna get done because that's who He is. Like He is faithfulness. Like I always say, like it it makes more sense when you think about the most unreliable people in your life like it just it just don't matter what they say like you just can't trust it it's like all right yo like like you saying you gonna do this but like none of us really believe you in here or none of us really like your words don't hold weight when you're not faithful 
Like, and I can't be one of those people that's like, wh- like what we say, oh, you just chatting. Like, it's certain people that just be chatting. Like, when it comes to their skill sets, their abilities, what they're going to do, when they're going to go. But when God speaks, he means what he says, and he's going to do what he says. If he say he's going to show up on time, he's going to show up on time. If he say he's going to do this, he's going to do this. And I think that's so special. When somebody is faithful, you can count on them. You can expect them. And so that's what I love about God. God is faithful. He's not trying to be, like, God not trying to, like, oh, let me, I got to prove to them that I'm going to do it. Nah, he, he, that's who he is. Like, is he just, like, him being faithful means he really can't lie. Like, God can't lie. It's just not in his nature to lie. I think that's so special. Like, another one I think about, God is long-suffering, and God, is, God has self-control. Like, the reason why that's so important for God, because God really is, a, he's very powerful. And, like, one of the dopest parts about God is that he holds back his wrath. Like, if God wanted to, we, we really all uh, could be out of here, just like that. Like, God has that much power, and he hates sin that much that if, if it really was up to him, like, he, he could go ahead and just wipe us all out. But he, he has self-control. He can, re- he can restrain himself in all his power. Like, the dopest thing about God having power, he could be trusted with the power. There are certain people, if you give them power, they show you why they can't have power because they use it to abuse people. They don't have no self-control. They, it's like they get some level of power or authority, um, and they use it over people in a way where, it, you know, no one's blessed, no one's happy, no one's experiencing any joy, um, which leads me to the next one, that God is joy. Like, God is joy. And when I think about this one, and then we're almost done, like, I think about, or y'all could think about, think about the thing that brings you the most joy. Think, think about the people who bring you the most joy. Like, those people who, who unravel you because you have so much joy. You you are so excited to see certain people come into the room. You're so excited to go certain places. I don't know about y'all, but when I'm experiencing real joy, that just made me want to get up in the morning. It made me already have my fit ready. Like when I'm looking forward to something that brings me joy, like I feel alive. I, f- I feel at my best. Like and there again there's certain people who bring that to you certain certain type of news that gives that to you and the dopest part about God is that's who he is like like joy personified is God like the Bible says that in the presence of God there's the fullness of joy like that's so dope to me that that God is joy like if you want joy and like like the Bible says the joy of the Lord is my strength but that's what joy does joy real joy when you really have joy you feel stronger like you feel excited about everything about life the environment you're in when you have real joy and so the fact that that's who God is like that's why the presence of God is so important like and when you're really in the presence of God you you really do feel joy when you get a word from God you feel joy when you hear confirmation from God you feel joy see what I'm saying like it's 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 profound goodness goodness and it's the famous phrase we all say it God is good God is good all the time. Like I was talking to somebody that likes food. I was saying, food don't always taste good. Like there's certain foods that you'll try and it's like, this actually wasn't good. But the Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Like I think that's dope because every time you've tasted or experienced God, you, you've come to know. you. The only thing you, you ever peep, the thing that you say the most when it comes to your walk with God is what? God is good. Like God really is good. Like, God is good. Like, that's who he is. Like, there's no there's no off day. There's no bad day with God. Just, God just is good. I just think that's so profound to me. Like, every time you think about God or anything that has to do with God, he's good. Everything he does is good. Everything he creates is good. Like, I just, I, I think that's beautiful. Um, and I know I sped through that. Um, that's one of those things that you got to watch back to uh, kind of really soak it all in. I didn't say peace. Oh my God, Jesus. I'm a hypocrite. Say that. <laughs> I don't know my word. <laughs> a peace. Um, God is peace. I mean, my, my favorite thing to talk about is peace because peace is priceless. You can't, you can't buy it nowhere. But that's the thing that I see everybody aiming for. Everybody wants peace. Everybody wants peace. Everybody. Some people are smoking to get peace, drinking to get peace. Some people are looking for people to give them peace, like, looking for peace, I found you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, peace, not real rap, like, peace. 
Peace is priceless, but peace is also expensive. Like, like y- you can't you can't replace real peace. But the fact that that's who God is, like, like it, they say, no God equals no peace. See what I'm saying? But if you really get to know Him, like you will experience peace. Like God is the only person I know that, with just His presence alone, can provide you a peace. And nothing on the outside changes, per se. Like, knowing you have God, knowing you have God's seal of approval, knowing you have God's word, sometimes God's confirming word that he's just with you, it, it, it just brings you such a peace. So that, that blesses me. Like, there is no day that God is, he's anxiety. Like, there's certain people who trigger you. There's certain people who bring drama in your midst. There's certain people who, as soon as they come around, it's kind of like, oh, my goodness. But when God comes, when God shows up, and when you make yourself aware of God in, a, in an environment, in a space, you immediately feel peace. You immediately feel peace. Like, I know this is crazy, but I'm going to do this just so y'all can see it. We're talking about God. We're here for God. We're, we're recording for God. Like, I know it sounds crazy because I'm putting you on the spot, but do, do y'all feel peace? Like, do you feel unsettled? Do you feel like you're in any type of danger? Do you feel like anything is coming at you? Or believe it or not, like, is your mind focusing on God? And it there's a peace here. Like, there is a safety when you're in the presence of God. And because we're in the presence of God right now, like, it, as crazy as it sounds, God brings a stillness to our entire bodies. The moment we step outside, you, you see how all of a sudden all these thoughts just start flooding in. All these anxieties start flooding in. Your mind is going everywhere because we're not focused on him. The moment you focus on God, immediately you'll feel peace. Immediately. It's profound.